you're listening to Frey. Starting right now. Here's your host, Alfredo Leon. Thank you, Ally. This is indeed Frey. As we gotta get into all the latest in the stuff of tech, as that intro was it was appropriate. As we're gonna talk about like the stuff that's happened with Windows 10 and all the updates is uh, recently with that. As the intro had to do with uh, the startup sound for Windows 95 and the closing has to do with the uh, Windows 95 shutdown sound. Anyways, Microsoft has released a number of bug fixes for Windows 10 five days after they released the creator's update 1703, the version of that, which was supposed to be ready for business. And round up re-releasing it, a KB4032188, and a number of other bug fixes which brought the, the build number up to 1506.502, meaning that it's just another update uh, as they try to do that with Windows 10. But just as they were ready to release another update, they wound up doing this. That's pretty much they wound up changing their minds last minute, and they needed to make a couple more fixes that they didn't realize last time, and they wound up having to address those issues prior to releasing it again. And this is what Microsoft stated on July 27th, that the Windows 10 Creator's update version is what was used to be referred to as the current branch of status, of status in quotes. According to Greg Kaiser's report, Microsoft stated that 1703, the version of uh, the newest update, was ready to be used by businesses, but on the following day, Microsoft posted information about a new security patch, which is called KB4032188, which we uh, mentioned earlier. The patch added a number of bug fixes, which brought the build up to 1506.501, which was the newer version of the update and the patches that were being fixed with all the bugs. That patch wound up being removed, and Microsoft ended up removing the reference to that update, meaning that you, you couldn't update it to that version if you wanted to, which was what Microsoft ended up doing, what it did there. On August 1st, it wound up reposting the KB4032188 article, and the q update was released with it as well. As previously said, there are a number of bug fixes, which isn't considered that big of a deal to people who are trying to uh, look at the updates and try to use those versions of the operating system. However, it does represent a number of little things that are key before they are published to the public. The KB4032199, which was released on August 1st, despite being dated till July 31st, wound up upping Windows 10 version 1703 to build 1503.6, 1503 1506.3.502, a version which was the newer version of Windows 10, uh, which is higher than the one on July 27, which was the previous one, which was 1506.3.501. The update also came with the surprising net framework of July 2017 cumulative quality update for Win 10 1703, Windows 10. If you apply an update to Windows Update and you are at 1506.3.483, the update is very small and your computer should reboot in a flash. However, if you download the update manually from the Microsoft Update Catalog, it's huge and the size is around 850 megabytes. It could take a lot longer and more space on the hard drive. So the best way is to do it via the operating system itself as it'll save time and you can reboot your computer a lot quicker and have time to do other things instead of having to wait for a huge file that's 850 megabytes, which is insane. And that takes up a lot of space on the hard drive. It could take up a lot of issues, especially uh, if the network isn't good or the Wi-Fi. The, the connections there. There are no issues with Microsoft releasing updates frequently as they're trying to improve the, the versions of Windows 10. The thing is, is the timing of it though. Timing is key with trying to fix one thing and then not fix everything. If you're trying to fix something, if you're Microsoft, fix one thing, but try to fix everything just so people don't keep complaining about bugs. As a big, big issue with Windows 10 updates as well, uh, just like the anniversary, that we'll get into detail later. As uh, Windows 10 has had issues with some of their bugs and stuff. The tie between updates on Windows 10 has fallen with each update as well. As the CBB is also falling. With version 1511 was released on November 12, 2015. And was declared CBB on April 8, 2016. In which companies had 148 days to test the beta. And wait for complaints from the beta testers that weren't even sent. Version 1607 lasted from August 2nd to November 29th. Which was 119 days and version 1703 went to down to uh, 107 days and lasted from April 11th to July 27th, despite the CVB build had had a number of small problems. It's not always true that an update will release at a certain point, despite Microsoft releasing it twice a year usually, which is the case there. As sometimes they try to release an update and they wound up backing out of it because of an issue or have to release another update just because of that update was so bad. Uh, that happens uh, as well. 
and uh, Windows 10 will release on July 29, 2023, 2015. And let's get into some of the issues that we have with Microsoft and their updates. Why is it that when they try to release an update, like, like the Windows 10 anniversary update, they had issues with the update as there were still bugs and stuff, and they read, art read articles about it saying that they don't update to, to oh, don't do the latest update of a Windows 10 at the time of the anniversary update, which was the one year anniversary at the time of Windows 10 after it came out in 2015. And it had a number of issues there with uh, bugs and stuff like that. And what is it with these companies that, that get into like oh updates like Apple is trying to have all the issues? We'll get into Apple in a minute. We got to really get into that. As all the issues with Windows 10 having updates with the keyboard to updates and all these updates that do constantly as. Sometimes certain updates may cause issues with compatibility running certain programs. It can affect the BIOS or some, the compatibility of some programs may not work if you try to run an older program like, or CD-ROM or something like that. Compatibility issues are big with Windows 10. And trying to release updates and stuff doesn't necessarily address that. And you've got to address those problems with some of the issues on Windows 10 besides bugs. Like, there are other issues like compatibility issues uh, as uh, one of the major uh, issues there. As uh, And the interface is a lot confusing because of the issues... Uh, with it, like Windows 8 and stuff like that, Windows 7 was a lot simpler and, and more friendly to use, or even Windows XP, Windows 95, Windows 98, the earlier versions of Windows, Windows 2000, were so much easier to use than Windows 10, but these bugs, you know, uh, these bugs just cause a lot of issues, and uh, let's get into uh, the, that, as the only bugs can just cause a lot of problems and the issues with the operating system, and get a lot of uh, computer crashes a lot, a lot of problems that can occur because of these updates, is, which is something that's happened with Apple. Let's get into Apple. Uh, as an Apple fanatic, Tim Cook has done a terrible job with Apple. Like, he's done nothing since Tim, uh, Steve Jobs uh, passed away. God rest his soul. Uh, rest in peace. Because he has not done anything innovative with Apple. What has he done? An Apple Watch? That's just stupid. Who cares about a damn watch? As a, Basically, you can't even use it unless you have the iPhone. It doesn't make any sense. As uh, at least uh, people are, with Samsung, you can use the Apple Watch, you can use the, their Samsung Watch and not have to rely on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 or any other version of it. But if you have an iPhone and you want to watch you, the Apple Watch, you gotta have the iPhone. Doesn't make any sense. Tim Cook hasn't really done anything. An Apple Watch is just stupid. And all he's doing is just copying uh, new versions of the iPhone. But that was Steve Jobs' idea. He's not done anything since becoming CEO of Apple, and he should just be fired. Uh, I'm saying, uh, get fired. If you listen to this Apple, he's out of here. He he doesn't deserve to be CEO. I'm sorry. The thing is, though, he's not done anything since Steve Jobs passed. And Steve Jobs has reinvented like, everything. Like, the iPhone, the iPod, the iPad. Even he had the Apple TV, which isn't as big as the other three. But still, he's made a lot of innovations with Apple. Something that Tim Cook has not been able to do since taking over as CEO. He's not done anything. Look at the iOS update. So many issues with that. Especially with the interface and the damn five-star rating. Why would you get rid of that, Apple? Doesn't make any sense. As that was so important for DJs to try to classify their music and organize and stuff. And the fact that the interface looks nothing different since iOS 7. What the hell are you guys doing? Doesn't make any sense. This is too, too long ago. That came out We're back on the iPhone 5. That's how long it's been since they had this interface. And basically, they haven't really changed the looks of it that much as the interface looks almost the same. The only thing it changed a couple buttons, a couple shapes, don't matter. It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. It just iOS 7 until now, like on the iPhone, hasn't really been anything different. It doesn't make any sense. They, they haven't really changed that much. The interface looks pretty much the same. Like, it's too long. The, that was the last major change. But when iOS 7 was good because it, it really changed all the interface compared to what it was on previous, like iOS 6 and stuff like that, which was originally what came with the iPhone. As uh, the interface was totally different with Windows and with uh, iPhone uh, 5 with the iOS 7. That's when the look really changed. It hasn't changed since. Changing a couple icons and a couple logos don't make any difference. It don't make any damn difference to me. It don't make any difference, as the look just is basically the same. You haven't even changed the calendar icon. It looks exactly the same for iOS 7. It doesn't really make any sense. It's horrible. It's just, I, I, Apple's got a lot of work to do. You know what they should make CEO? They should make Johnny Ive CEO. Like, uh, he's really smart. He was the one who came up with the idea of the iMac back in 1998 with uh, Steve Jobs. Uh, and he, That was a revolutionary product there as well. What has Tim Cook done? He just created new versions of the iPhone. He's basically copying Samsung. Samsung is dictating the market right now. And they're kicking Apple's ass right now in the market. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know uh, it's just not really been working out for Apple. They haven't done anything new. 
as they're they're letting Samsung they take the market right now with the S8. The S8 looks great. And one thing about Apple that they haven't been able to address, FaceTime. Since uh, they came out with the iPhone 4S, uh, when Steve Jobs revealed it, it has only been one-on-one -on -one FaceTime. It doesn't make any sense. Samsung, you can do four, up to four, I believe. Definitely more than one-on-one. -on -one. And Skype, you can do up to eight, I believe. And Gold to Media, you can do a lot, too. And Google Plus Hangout. Nowadays, there's no me, there's no sense to be trying to do one-on-one -on -one FaceTime. That's so old-fashioned now, of days. And, uh, you know, uh, and that's just the thing with the iPhone. It's just they're so, like, old school. They got to keep up with the times. They're letting Samsung dictate the market right now. You know, you know what? It's probably best to get a Samsung Galaxy S8 rather than an iPhone. Just, just get an iPhone just to try to stay loyal to it. But the iPhone is just letting the Samsung dictate the market right now. They got the, the, the OLED stuff was by Samsung. The... The curvature display was by Samsung. All that's by Samsung. So iPhone is letting Samsung to take the market. Apple is just letting them do that. As really, Apple hasn't really done anything. But the one thing that people, probably the only Apple product people get are the iPads. Because you could just get a Samsung Galaxy S8. You could get an Android. You don't need to get all that other garbage. Uh, no disrespect to Apple. But the thing is, though, they got to really improve on their stuff. Because they're not being able to improve all the stuff they're trying to do with their products and stuff. As they just try to keep the same thing. Nothing has changed from the iPhone 5 to a now. That was the Steve Jobs concept. He was the one working on the iPhone 5. Take a hasn't had any original ideas other than the Apple Watch, which already was by Samsung. And the fact that the Apple Watch is relied on the iPhone doesn't make any sense. People don't want to have an iPhone in order to get the Samsung Apple Watch. Excuse me. It doesn't make any sense. Getting a, a, a Samsung Watch is good because you don't need that. You don't need to have a Samsung Galaxy. In order to use it. It doesn't make any sense, Apple. Fix it. In order for you to get better and not lose customers. Because you're losing customers to other companies like Samsung, Android, even Windows Phone. Even though Windows hasn't had much success with their phones. They have more innovation right now. They're more successful. They got an Xbox console. What do you have? You got no console. You don't got getting gamers coming to Apple. Unless you want to just play iOS games. It doesn't make any sense. Especially if games crash a lot due to compatibility. With newer iOS updates, it doesn't make any sense. But at least uh, uh, Microsoft is doing something. They're, they're making new uh, tablets. They're making innovative tablets. Your, your iMacs and your MacBook Pros don't even have touch screen. It doesn't make any sense. At least the Surface Pro tablet, you could use it like a computer, and you could be able to write on it as well. Something you can't do on the on the a MacBook Pro or the iMac. Instead, you're forced to get it. An iPad, which is essentially running like an iOS device, which is essentially running like an iPhone. And why would you kill the iPod? It doesn't make any sense. People, the iP uh, Apple's killing themselves right now, especially with all the... Uh, I, what if people don't want an iPhone, but they still want a device to listen to music? You can at least get the iPod, or well, they could get the iPad as well. But at least if they want to listen to other Go and they don't want an iPhone, you can get the iPod. Why would you kill the iPod? That was pretty successful. They're killing one of Steve Jobs' great things is... And unbelievable. Because what if people don't want an iPhone and they want to still listen to their music on their phone? I know this sounds old fashioned, but you could get an iPod still. What other device can you actually listen to music and still have iTunes access and stuff? It doesn't make any sense. And if it weren't for iTunes Match, a lot of people wouldn't even have iPhones right now. iPhones is just the best right now, especially when, when people are so hesitant to do iOS updates because some of the ways the interface looks and stuff like that changes and everything. It doesn't make any sense. It's just Apple's got a lot of issues right now and they really need to. Get with the program, and adopts. people are going to be going to Samsung, and Apple's going to lose a lot of customers. And Tim Cook, he's got to do a lot of work, and not he would not be CEO anymore. If Steve Jobs were alive, uh, Tim Cook wouldn't even be CEO right now. It's just because of how bad of a job he's done. He's come up with nothing original, like I said, and I don't know if there's anything going to come up original. If he comes up with the Apple Car or something like that, then he, then he's doing something. But right now, he's not doing anything. So this is just a lot of issues with Apple. And Microsoft, at least they're, they're, they're doing stuff about it, like I said. They're, they're releasing their updates and stuff, like I said. But even though there's bugs and stuff, it's not really that big of a deal compared to Apple with their iOS updates. People are hesitant to update their iOS. Even upgrade their iPhone. Some people still have the iPhone 4, even though it's not really that supported anymore. People don't want to upgrade their phones because they not, don't think it's worth it. Because of the fact that it's not really that mind-blowing. And who wants to buy an, a $1,000 to $1,100 iPhone? Even though the iPhone is supposed to be good, but that's just not worth the money, especially if it's not going to have that many changes. And why would they want to put the, the, the touch screen in the back? It doesn't make any sense. The touch ID, it's supposed to be in the front. 
But Face ID has something else, though. But still, you can't put that on the back. It's the iPhone 8 look terrible. Good thing at least they're trying to get the OLED stuff in there, even though they won't have any Touch ID. But still, the interface is not going to be that much different. Other than changing a couple shapes and stuff like that. It's not going to be that much of a difference. I don't know if the iPhone 8 will be as good as people think it is. I don't know if it'll be worth the buy. Well, hopefully I'm wrong, but hopefully this will not be the case as a... Apple needs to really make a lot of improvements. I hope that's the case, though. They got to really improve themselves in order to try to be better at what they do because what they're doing right now is just not working, and they really got a lot of work to do if they want to try to pass Samsung. As people are going to Samsung, it's not going to be pretty for Apple, especially with the fact that they have a lot of competitors out there with Android and Apple, and uh, Apple, <laughs> Android and, of course, uh, Samsung. So this is going to be crazy to see what they could do. And they could finally improve. And we'll see what happens there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed uh, that little rant right there about Apple and stuff like that as well. Uh, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram as well. as The links will be in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Peace.